The Utah County Health Department says two businesses defied COVID-19 regulations, leaving nearly 70 people sick. But as we have reported, the health department will not reveal which businesses are involved. And a lot of people would like to know those businesses. They've denied Fox 13's public records request, however, for the names of the businesses. Now Sydney Glenn has a look at how health departments all around the state are handling the release of locations of COVID-19 outbreaks. First Amendment and media attorney Michael O'Brien says Fox 13's public records request for the names of two Utah County businesses who violated health orders, told employees to come to work even after testing positive for the virus and to ignore quarantine guidelines should not have been denied. We routinely identify restaurants, for example, that violate health codes. Uh, we routinely inviol uh, identify businesses that uh, uh, violate OSHA codes. If an employee gets injured at work or is killed at work in an industrial accident, those companies are are identified. Yet our grandma request was denied. The Utah County Health Department saying in part, all information is strictly confidential under Utah Code 26-6-27. It went on to list several other Utah statutes. The, the records laws are pretty clear that under these sort of circumstances, the name of a business is not something that a county should protect. And the fact the county is protecting it makes you wonder exactly why. Are there some other motives? In April, we asked for the name of the first nursing home outbreak. We were denied, saying since there was no public health threat, they would uphold the nursing home's privacy. We confirmed Pine Creek Nursing and Rehab Center as the location on our own. But again, this reasoning of no public threat, which O'Brien doesn't buy. And, and, and I don't know how a business could be so isolated from the public that there wouldn't be legitimate public concern about a business being a COVID hotspot. The only time so far a business that the general public would not come in contact with where an outbreak has been confirmed is by the Morgan Weber Health Department, where a spokesperson says they confirmed the name after the reporter had already figured out it was Heritage Park Healthcare and Rehabilitation Services. Yet O'Brien says confirming and releasing are the same thing legally. So why isn't everyone looking at the law the same way? The general trend is to apply our public records laws in the middle of a pandemic the same way we apply them any other time. We did reach out to the Utah County Health Department today. They denied our request for an interview, instead telling us that we can appeal our grandma request. Live in Salt Lake City, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.